into long, long, narrow tubes. This was, these are about six feet tall by maybe six inches wide. And we said, will the algae grow on our inoculum? Yes, they will. Okay, let's see if we can scale that up. Then we went to these tubes, and you're going to see those today. Will they grow in bigger tubes? Yes, they will. These are about uh, three feet by what? Twelve feet? Yeah. Three feet by twelve feet reactors. We thought, ooh, that's interesting. We continue to grow it. And part of scaling up a technology is the fact it just continues to work through the process. With not a lot of capital, that's the unique thing about our technology. We have it's an order of magnitude relative to everybody else developing technologies. It's, it's an order of magnitude way less because we have experts in distillation, fermentation, biology, chemistry, and all the processes that are taking place here. We've been able to just utilize everybody's talents and, and, and do that. So then what we did is we went from here and we said, let's draw an artist rendering of what we think it may look like. And we went and we went from being vertical to horizontal because we want to we want to be able to get more sunlight onto onto the media. So we drew this picture up and we said, boy, that would be interesting. We could actually grow those, but those were a little small. So then we said, well, let's put out maybe a little bit bigger ones than that. And you're going to see the first two we built outside. And then and then we said, well, it's continuing to work. So if it continues to work, we'll continue to invest in it. So as we continue to scale up, and then we said, let's build bigger ones than that. So then we build a 200-foot reactor, and so let's build bigger ones than that. We build 400-foot reactors, and, and the next ones you're going to see are 900-foot reactors. But what's consistent, if you can hand me the fixed film, can you hand me the media behind you? What is consistent through the whole process, if I can get that, what's consistent through this whole process is this has never changed once. This is what's in the small, this is a patented fixed film media that was, that was developed through water filtration. And this has never changed the size of it, the scale of it, anything. We just made them longer, but we never did anything more than that. Yeah, it, but it's a it's a compound that that basically what we do is the algae grows on this. We spray it off. We don't get it all off, and it regrows the next day. So it's just regenerating. It just keeps regenerating. We inoculate it once every maybe 60 to 90 days. If we want to change a variety, we'll 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 put some more on. But in general, after that, it's the sunlight, wastewater, uh, heat, and CO2 that it just grows every day. We spray a little off. And it grows again. We spray a little more off, and it grows again. And you can see that that's what was in those narrow reactors. That was what's in the wider reactors. That's what's what been went in the horizontal reactors, and that's what's in our 400 foot reactors. This has never ever changed, and this continues to grow. Let me give you an idea of what we're shooting for. What we're shooting for is we say a lot of people say, well, to, and you ask me the question, to make algae you need all this land, right? So what this was able to do is to concentrate your production onto a fixed film media that you can harvest every day. And so our goal, and we've seen yields. Uh, I'm going to give you an idea of what the yields we've seen off of this. So think about corn. Corn grows 7 to 8 tons per acre of biomass. Basically, when you grow corn, you're going to get 7 to 8 tons an acre. We've seen as high as 40 tons an acre of algae biomass off of, these, off of this media. And so that's when we said, aha, we have something. When we have something over the same acre, we can grow five times the amount of biomass and has a lot more value than where corn's trading at today. So we're going to take that third of the corn kernel, that CO2, we pump it into our reactors, which you'll see, and you'll see what we're going to get out of those reactors. So then we said, okay, well, if we can actually make something, can we actually sell some, something on algae? And we said, well, there's three markets that we're going to focus on. Aquaculture, animal feed, biofuels, and, and others. And so we always said, well, we're a really big feeder. We sell 2 million tons of animal feed. If we could actually make something very valuable, we got a big customer base to go after. So we said there's a giant fish meal market in the world. It's 10 million tons. They feed themselves basically algae-based products and omega-3s. And so algae is high in omega-3, and it's, it's also a very good, good animal feed. So... We said, let's see if we can make some of that. Well, we did. And we made a, an algae pellet. We can pelletize algae. We don't think anybody's ever really done that before. We made an algae, 100% uh, algae. This actually has 20% algae and 80% distiller's grains, right? Distiller's grains. So we made a pelletized algae, so this is very high in protein. And then from there, what we did is this is a compound feed product with 5% algae. So we wanted to show feeders that, hey, we can get it into your product, and this is, ten, this is a mash with 10% algae. So this is what we'll look at from the animal feed market, poultry and those type of markets. We also said, let's see if we can go after the aquaculture market. And so from there, we, we develop products. Again, these are all early stage developed products. Where there's a whole cell algae that we've dried, and you can see that, and you'll see some more of that outside, where we actually can take the algae from the liquid all the way through the growth, and we can dry it in, into a flake. And then also we can make a toothpaste form, which we'll show you as well. What's that? That's a fresh one. This was just, just from fresh from the other day. Yummy. Yummy. You want? And so can I open it and smell yeah. it? So this is literally al algae paste that we can make out of our process. You guys can smell that. It smells just like, just like algae, right? Okay. So let, let's walk you through the growth of our, of our system because we know, we know you have limited time, so it's going to take, 
take you 10 minutes to get through there. But you can see that we've, and then in biofuels, we said, hey, let's go and uh, see if we can compete in the fuel market. We're not focused on that. That's a low quality product against a high quality process. And so there just isn't enough economic incentive for us to really focus on growing biofuels or fuel. You make that stuff on the site? This has all been made yeah. here. Yes. You'll see it. Actually, it's being made here as we speak. Okay. So now, if we go, can we go in here real quick? Yes. Okay. Yeah, Todd, um, yeah. There's samples of the dried algae here on the end of the table. They're free to take one. <laughs> dried algae? Yeah. Okay. All these white, all these white gaps. Uh, gaps uh, we're giving away. 